Good morning and welcome to another day here on planet Earth. I am your merry gardener and this is large latte extra hot. All right, so I got a free, a free coffee with Costa today. <clears throat> and uh, when you get a free one, it makes sense. You might as well go for a large. So instead of medium latte, I went for a large latte. Uh, so today, uh, Oh, we are episode 216, and I got a cheeky little story for you today. Um, I'm just going to pull it up here. Um, so, cheeky gardener who trimmed hedge into a middle finger brands it a pain in the backside. <laughs> this is quite a funny one. I like this one. So, let's have a cheeky look. Richard Jackson has even been threatened with legal action after local after a local branded the hedge obscene. Look, it's middle finger hedge. <laughs> That's hilarious. He looks very proud of his middle finger. So, a cheeky local gardener who became a social media star when he cut a 10 foot bush in his garden into the shape of a middle finger now says it's a pain in the backside and wants to burn it i find it very strange that you'd want to burn it maybe you want to cut it down and then burn it i can't imagine you just want to set the thing alight it'll probably set everything else alight maybe just an expression um now I'm going to get a Okay, Richard Jackson from Warwickshire has proudly displayed the rude topiary in his front garden for the last 20 years. Wow, blimey. So Richard is 64. So 20 years ago, he was 44. Same age as me. Initially created it as a joke for drinkers who teased him while he trimmed their hedges at a pub opposite his home in the quaint village of Wharton. His middle finger bush also attracts hundreds of visitors with Instagram and TikTok fans desperate to feature it on their profiles. That's hilarious. Even though locals say his topiary is now a part of the village folklore, Richard says its days are coming to an end and it's past its prime and needs trimming four times a year, he said. I'm fed up with it, to be honest with you. I'm going to dig it up or burn it. People love it, but I've had enough. <clears throat> Look at him. He added, it's just a pain in the backside to keep it in shape. It's like me, old and in bad shape. It's not a statue, it grows and it's harder and harder to keep it in shape. It's too much trouble now. We still have folks come up, take photos, but it's past its prime. However, villagers have vowed to fight, keep the hedge. Richard originally created the rude hedge as a joke to get back at regular customers at the office pub opposite his home. He said, it all started years ago as a bit of a laugh with locals in the nearby pub. I used to do the hedges over there and they'd give me a bit of a tease when they came out. One day I thought I'd get my own back. So cut the hedge into a giant middle finger. The pub locals thought it was hilarious and it just went from there. It became a permanent fixture in the village. But council bosses failed to see the funny side. <laughs> Obviously the council bosses, no sense of humour, um, complained about the obscene... So after a neighbour complained about the obscene gesture and Warwickshire County Council wrote to him in 2012 threatening him with legal action unless he chopped it down. Oh my God. Richard refused and Warwickshire police then sent an officer, officer out to investigate. Villagers then rallied round and launched a Save the Wharton Bush campaign. Oh my God. He said everything was fine until I got a letter from the council saying someone had complained, saying the hedge was obscene. I was told I'd have to cut it down or modify it so it didn't look rude anymore. I refused, so they got the police involved. Look, there it is. <laughs> that is hilarious. <clears throat> A policeman came out and said, if they receive any more complaint, then I'll be instantly fined. He even suggested I turn it into a fist, but I told him no way. I still didn't do anything about the hedge, apart from let it grow a bit, grow out a bit. 
It was all for a laugh. Some locals have said they don't want to lose it and vowed to revive the Save the Water Bush campaign. One said the bush is now part of the village folklore and must be kept for future generations to enjoy. Really? I think most people would pitch in to keep it well maintained. It's become a symbol of defiance against the system and most people here would urge Richard to keep it. There are already murmurings of relaunching the Save the Wharton Bush campaign to ensure it stays put. That is hilarious. Go back to the original picture, which I thought he's standing by it. That's cool. <laughs> Let's get rid of that now. That. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think it's obscene? Or do you think it's just a bit of a laugh? I think it's just a bit of a laugh, to be honest. Um, and... I don't know. It's just a finger at the end of the day. It doesn't even look like a fist and a finger. It's just, it, it, it's just funny, isn't it? <clears throat> Guys, that was a little of a laugh today. I've got to shoot off to work. What time is it? I um got to be, be, be at my first job in about eight minutes. Guys, take care. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. And, um, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye.